So here's our next drawing. Um, this again, it, it's probably not as complicated as the uh, the assessment you just submitted, uh, but it's definitely combining a, a lot of ideas, a lot of concepts that we've already learned. Um, so I'm not going to make an entire video to show you how to do this. I'm just going to give you some pointers, give you a place to start, and hopefully you guys can work your way through it. Uh, go back to the written instructions for the uh, performance task picture. That'll help you uh, with, with some of the steps. And definitely go back to the polar array. Um, this will probably be the trickiest part. Just, you know, take your time, play with it. If you don't get a circle exactly here, if it's, say, here, it's, you know, a hair off, no problem. Don't worry about it. Um, but try to be as perfect and precise as possible. So how do we start this? Well, we can start with this circle right here, and it tells us the diameter. Remember, this is diameter. R is radius. So this circle has a diameter of 50. So we can come in. Circle center diameter. Pick some arbitrary place. And the diameter was 50, so we can type it as center. This outer circle, right, remember, start seeing things as circles, is has a radius of 50, or do diameter of 100 either way. Uh, radius, click the one that's center, matched up, and its radius this time is 50, right? So its diameter is actually 100. Um, so there you go, that's how we would start that. Now again, we get these lines in here, right? So just to give you a quick reminder how we did that, click on the line, just hover here, make sure your object snaps are on. So here's the center, we can come over. Then you get the idea that, that this has to be, um, just referring back to the picture, more than 100. So if you make it 170, that, that'll be more than enough. You can trim it later. Then we did the same thing uh, going up and down. So we found our center. Up and find our center. And down. Remember, you can use the line type command. Line type commands basically going to give you the option to make your center too. So you guys would just click load. You'll you'll see load on your screen somewhere. I don't have load. I have the plus, so I come in here. I select center two. Okay. Um, saying I've already done this, so I can cancel. But you can see there's my center two. Save. Now we come in. M O was the properties. Click one of these lines and change it to red. Uh, and then here, center two. All right, so we've changed that line to what we want it to be. Click on it, type MA, and that was the match. So enter. Now we can get this one identical. All right. Uh, we've also started the process of working on this side, right? So you're going to move this vertical line over 95 units. So you should have a vertical line over here somewhere. And then from this one, you're going to move, make another vertical line over this way somewhere, right? So we'll have three vertical lines <coughs> where they cross here, make yourself a circle. What's the radius of this circle? Right there, radius 11. So radius 11, radius 11. Remember we connected them with a straight line. Uh, later on, you'll come in and trim, trim the circles. Uh, the other big thing you're going to have to do, well, we have radius uh, 11 here. This circle is radius 25, right? So you're going to draw just a, a circle. And then remember to get this. The last, uh, I guess one of the last ones I'll give you. 
this is going to be tan tan radius so when you create that circle I don't have the circle here um, but you'll come in tan tan radius you click this circle click the circle when it's over here and then of course you'll trim this out um, then to get this point you can uh, do an arc this this might again take you a little bit of playing with um, I would definitely use the radius right because you know the radius the radius is given to you so um, use it Oop, I messed that up but use it uh, see what you can come up with it wants the start point and change it to center Okay, um, arc of 38. So, you guys really have to come in and, and play with this. I did the wrong one, sorry. Um, yeah, I probably just confused the life out of you. Don't do what I just did. Um, you do want radius. Start point so you can kind of guess and you even if you want to do start here and Here no. All right now, I'm really blowing it All right, so uh, when you take a look at the arc uh, the one I, I would highly recommend you use the start and radius uh, Just play with it you you'll get it right eventually. Um, you can see in the picture, it starts somewhere around here. It's fine, and somewhere around here. Then it wants the radius, which is 38. And you'll notice it's going the wrong way. Uh, my directions down here tell me hold control. Um, so hit control, and we there we go. All right. So now we have our radius of 38 boom All right uh, your first circle just draw this one draw one with a diameter of 10 use your array polar that's exactly what you'll type in the command line to create that you know play with the options you'll notice there's five circles you uh, have a bunch of tools available to you to move them if they're not exactly lined up get them pretty close uh, yeah uh, remember your, your copy tool right so copy it wants you to specify the base point click the base point if your first one is 95 units just move it over type 95 enter right escape now you can copy this one and uh, make the copy move this way again look at the picture you got some distances at this point here right, right here you can draw your circle of radius 11 this point another one again um, I know we've gone through this you get the idea I, I'm trying to take the training wheels off slowly and get you guys to ride that bike on your own so hopefully uh, this is enough again if not let's talk all right good luck